a non-compliance fine for not registering. The ordinance seems to me like it was to clean up the legal non-conforming, the people who had horses that shouldn't have, shouldn't have had horses on their property. I would make a motion that all horses be registered in the town on all conforming and non-conforming properties. from June Trotesky. Elizabeth is a town and horses need to be in the country and think of the groundwater with all the manure. Defer to Commissioner White. I'm not a horse owner. I'm trying to promote kind and caring animal owners. Things that have to be done as far as offensive odors and sights, um, cruelty to animals, having them comply, having a site plan, having somebody verify that there is space for the animals, that they do have humane care, that they're getting exercise, that, you know, that the drainage is good and it's not bad on their mm. hook. I realize they already have a legal non-conform, non-conforming use. That, that is there currently. <clears throat> and I understand that one of his animals passed away. And so I'm starting to kind of agree with Craig, that maybe we just leave it alone and we don't change it at all. It is what it is, and we leave it alone. And that would mean that they could get their second horse, or no? Not? That would mean no. They could not get a second horse. They could not replace their horse. I, I have a feeling that that the public um, did, was not informed, uh, certainly adequately anyhow, um, relative to this when it occurred in 2010. So I think it's conceivable that people own horses on non-conforming properties and, and just have not been aware. Um, I mean, I, I, maybe I'm um, being being too generous in that, but I, I think that the fact that, that nothing has been registered, no one, I mean, across the board, not sing, a single horse has been registered. I just think it's possible that, um, that people who had horses were not aware that this ordinance got passed. Um, so, uh, but um, relative to this situation with Mr. Page, um, I, I do believe, um, and this is, I think, what I was voicing in the uh, workshop, I, I do believe that we ought to find a way um, to allow him to um, replace the deceased horse uh, for the well-being of the remaining horse. I don't remember anything at the workshop that we talked about uh, registration at that time. It was, you know, um, so... I don't see using the workshop as something that, you know, he reminded them to do something. Um, I'm not aware of, uh, and I've been out here since 2006, and I don't know anything about registering a horse either. So if it's not being enforced and the people don't know about it, I think, you know, you got to give them a chance. And, to sit, and because I really don't remember in that February workshop, any discussion of, got to register your horse yeah um th this may have been enacted in 2010 but the residents who bought their property prior to that bought horse property and without any knowledge that one day that right would be taken away from them they bought ho horse property and anyone who knows about horse property knows it is worth more and than just a residential house the board in 2010 stepped all over the rights of the people who bought their property before that. If they bought horse property, it should remain horse property and they should be allowed to replace any horses that they had 
um, after they pass on. These are the people from our town. These are the people who are the core of this town. And I can't believe that you would want to take that right away from someone in the United States of America. I mean, you're stepping all over their constitution by taking away this. They bought horse property. You know, they, they, they deserve to keep their horse property and they deserve to replace their horses if they disappear. Um, I just, I think that if we don't change this, it makes us a worse board than the 2010 board that actually made this ordinance. And that's all I have to say. My concern is um, these properties have had 10 years to notify the town that they have uh, non-conforming horses. What, what are the ramifications when this has been 10 years and they still haven't registered and if the board chooses to um, allow um, continued non-conforming use with more than one horse on a 20,000 square foot lot, how are we guaranteed or what is the ramifications or procedure and how long are we going to give them to get this non-conforming use um, identified and, and, and registered with the town? As I was, I'm intimately familiar with the 2010 ordinance. Um, there actually was a lot of publicity about it in 2010. As a matter of fact, um, there were um, flyers posted in the restrooms in the Walmart. Yeah, there were there were flyers posted all over town and literally in the bathroom stalls in Walmart. Turnus. Hi. Mm -hmm.